I think it's, it's very important. I don't, I don't, I always respect more the fighter, be respectful because you know, it's when you realize it's gonna be a good fight because the fighters who talk a lot of things, they come into the fight, they, they are scared. So I like this kind of fight because I, I, I know it's gonna be a great fight. Tell me if uh, it was a wrong observation or right. Did it feel weird to be on stage with Oscar? Did you feel annoyed or angry that he was there on stage? I, I don't like I don't like that kind of person. To yeah. be honest, that's it. But I, I feel comfortable because this is my is my land, not mm -hmm. his land. So yeah. uh, at the end of the day, I feel comfortable with myself with everything I I, I, I did because everything you see, I, we we made that. We made that. Nobody else. Yeah, together. Uh, yeah, together. Beltran, BBC, and Canelo King. That's it. So what's Canelo going for you on the future? Are you going to be a free agent? Like what happened with you splitting from PBC then coming back? I'm very happy to work with everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I'm happy to work with all Hyman and he's happy to work with me and, and if something happened or something that there is for me more important, I'm, I'm going to do it and I'm going to be uh, good with Hyman, with everybody. I, I, I like to work with everybody and and they know I, I'm very disciplined, I'm very hard worker, and that's why I can do anything. Floyd said when he was 36, he fought the Mexican monster of his time, which was Canelo. So Canelo okay. should do the same to stop ducking Benavides. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Mungia yeah, winning, trust me, he'll fight Benavides. Oh, that would be good. Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, primeramente quiero felicitar a Jaime Munguía, a Canelo. Gracias Canelo por darle la oportunidad a, a Jaime Munguía. Es bien merecido. Su carrera ha sido una carrera muy brillante, una carrera difícil, complicada, pero estamos aquí y bien merecido. Así que felicidades a Jaime. Canelo Álvarez es el la imagen del boxeo actual, el trabajado por muchos años, mucho esfuerzo, mucha disciplina eh, y obviamente se merece lo que está, lo que está viviendo hoy, y ayer y mañana. Yo pienso que el boxeo, el boxeo mexicano va a ganar el 4 de mayo, va a ser algo muy especial. Y quiero hablar un poco de la historia de, de los boxeadores mexicanos cuando se enfrentan a cada uno. No, no hay mejor peleas que entre dos mexicanos, dos, dos guerreros, enfrentándose por orgullo. Y no por fama, no por dinero, pero orgullo. Ese orgullo mexicano es lo que hace al peleador mexicano el esfuerzo, el trabajo, pero ese orgullo, ese corazón que van a demostrar el 4 de mayo va a ser muy especial. Y me felicita por ver, digo, me pongo muy feliz porque el, el país de México va a estar en alto por todo el mundo y estos dos campeones van a estar al frente demostrando en el mundo que el boxeo mexicano es el mejor boxeo del mundo. First of all, thank you very much to Canelo, to Munguia. What a uh, what a great surprise! What a great uh, treat they are giving us on the fourth of May. And I want to touch a bit on um, the history of Mexican boxing. When you have two Mexican fighters at this elite level, like Canelo, like Munguia, we're in for a special treat. It's been a second, it's been a while, I believe, since Canelo fought Julio Cesar Chavez. But this is different. We have a Munguia who's an ex-world champion. We have a Munguia who's undefeated, who's young, who's hungry, who's strong, who's coming with everything. But I do want to emphasize on Mexican boxing and how special it is when you have two fighters from Mexico in the ring and what makes me most proud is the world will be watching literally thanks to Amazon, 
thanks to the zone. Uh, most importantly, I want to thank Fernando Beltran. I want to thank my partner, Bernard Hopkins. Uh, especially Jaime Munguia for having the confidence to uh, lead his way, to lead his charge, to lead his career to where it, where it is now. So thank you very much, guys. We will see you the 4th of May. Gracias. Rupert, what's your thoughts on Canelo? What's your thoughts on Canelo turning down uh, 55 million to, uh, plus pay-per-view buys to fight uh, Benavidez? Canelo? Yeah, what, what's your thoughts on him turning down 55 million plus uh, pay-per-view buys to fight? Uh, 55 million to fight Benavidez. Yeah. I'll fight. Jeez. That was great. That was my next question. Would, would, would you fight him? Would you have fought yeah, Benavidez? I, mean, I, I, I seriously do not understand why Canelo doesn't fight Benavides because a lot of fans are, are going against Canelo now for not making that fight. He might have his reason. Maybe he's waiting. I don't know. Maybe he's waiting for September. Who knows? But um, but I think that I think that um, the more he waits, you know, Canelo's not a spring chicken anymore. You know, he's, he's getting a little older and a lot of wear and tear and Benavides is just getting better so if he if he ever thinks of fighting him it better be now. Hey Oscar, Can Canelo said he doesn't fight Mexicans when asked about fighting Benavides so how come he's fighting Munguia? You would have to ask him that question um, when Canelo was was talking about not fighting Mexicans for a reason to me it was mind-boggling because a fighter has no nationality a fighter a fighter fights whoever you can fight a family member you want you know that's that's how that's how that's how much pride you should have um, all I know is that we got this fight made and checkmate and Mike you know Mike Tyson said Canelo lacks heart he's afraid to lose again turning down Benavidez in a big purse what's your thoughts on that well I, I have to believe Mike Tyson whatever Mike Tyson says <laughs> You believe him, so guys, we gotta take Oscar down the line. Oscar, Thank, Thank you. Oscar, do you feel like women can get can be uh, Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Styles. Styles make fights. Age, uh, wear and tear for the body, physically, mentally. Uh, footwork. Obviously, I've been I've been I've been talking about uh, quick set a lot, and uh, it's for a reason. You know, footwork means a lot inside the ring. And uh, when you have a fighter like Mungia who has power, who throws a lot of punches and bunches, now he has Freddie who's teaching him footwork and head movement. It's a pretty dangerous combination. Oscar, 